I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at DevOx interviewing Jim Weaver mm -hmm. and Garrett Grunwald. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, so um, we're here today to talk about um, the I IoT community. Okay. So uh, Jim, um, what are we doing in the IoT community? Um, uh, well, what's all sort the of new stuff? Well, you and uh, I and Garrett are actually uh, leading the IoT Community.net page, site, and um, and so maybe you could tell me some of the things that are, some of the new cool things that are happening on that site. Well, so okay, so what I really like about this page is that it's um, it's a lot of um, uh, things about what, what the community is doing. So every, so a lot of blogs, for example, and it's fascinating to see um, all the projects. I mean, it's mind-boggling, actually, to see the diversity of projects, of boards, of technologies that people are using, and all also using Java. So yeah. So now you just put an entry on there, and in a news and announcements entry on that page. What was that about? So we did here a uh, Hackerfest, uh -huh. and uh, for two days, and we did. Uh, so the Hackerfest was with a panel that uh, Vinicius and uh, Yara Sanger uh, put together, and it's a set of boards. Uh, it's a uh, lot of um, uh, Raspberry Pi boards with Ardu Arduinos, and they also have the, a panel where all the sensors are accessible. So uh, the hackers come, uh, get trained uh, in the morning, and then they build their own application in a couple of hours, or if they're really beginners, in several hours. But we give them like two days to create something. So where did it happen? It happened here? Or? It, it happened here, uh, oh, the first okay. two days of the university days. Oh, mm -hmm. great. And it's, uh, it's just wonderful to see uh, people create uh, projects. And at the end of uh, the two days, they do a presentation. And so we recorded some of the presentations. And we have everything online afterwards. Now, one of the reasons why we have this site is to promote this idea of Internet of Things um, among the development community because it's something that's coming in the industry now. You know, as they say by 2020, every person on Earth, there'll be like seven billion people on the Earth or, or more than that, but every one of us will have an average of about six devices. So the development community now is mostly focused on enterprise development and, um, you know, uh, web front ends, things like that, but also very heavy server side development. And that's changing now because of the proliferation of of devices, you know, th these things are getting smarter, We're, they're in our pockets, they're, me they're measuring our footsteps and, and blood pressure and things like that, and assisting us with every everyday uh, activities. Um, and if there are six or seven per person, then that becomes this, this really, it could be an, un un an unmanageable quantity of devices. Um, or, if we prepare correctly, um, prepare developers correctly to be able to, to program these devices and, and put structures in place that monitor and control them, then we can have um, a very productive world of, of development, one that is, um, you know, that is powered by Java on these devices, so we have all the underlying security and the APIs that, that Java already has and, and that leverages Java developers' expertise on these devices. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the leading edge developers in, in, uh, in Java in the embedded space, especially like with Raspberry Pis, the, the, the small $35 board um, that developed for, for helping people get up to speed on, on uh, embedded development, is Garrett Grunwald. He's been doing a lot of, a lot of development um, for fun mm -hmm on the Raspberry Pi. And I, I wanted to ask you, Garrett, what uh, what kinds of things have you been doing? Well, you know, I started, I was here last year, right? We yes, the interview you were, of you Java were here. With Exxon at Embedded Devices. Yes. And, um, yeah, in the meantime, a lot of things happened and I tried to use a lot of Raspberry Pis in my house and test everything that is possible to connect to it. And it's, it's a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, after finding myself having five Raspberry Pis, uh, somewhere in my house, I thought that's not the right approach. Um, and now I started in sensor networking, so that means I would like to use the Pi as some kind of a 
name it a server, right? That only collects all the data from the sensors and then I can store it somewhere in a database and then I can uh, talk to that Pi and, and get the data with a desktop application or whatever it is. And the final plan is to, to get uh, Open Dolphin uh, involved and nice. use that uh, to synchronize the, the sensor data um, with uh, desktop uh, development stuff or with the server side. So I'm in the beginning right now, but the idea is to uh, take all these pies back from my house and just replace them with tiny sensors and hook up many sensors and just use one pie and uh, collect all the data because you don't need 700 megahertz just to measure temperature. That's mm. just over the top. Okay. So that that's at the moment that's uh, my idea. And there I have many more ideas with uh, wearable devices and you can do so many things. I'm playing around the, with a BeagleBone uh, Black, where you can run Java 8 on uh, with hard float. Mm -hmm. uh, the QB Board 2, which also is able run, to, to run uh, JDK 8 hard float. So you can do a lot of things. It's, it's amazing. And for me, it's like, you know, over the last 10 years, the, the server side pre was prepared very well. And now it's time for the embedded side to catch up with that and combine all that things in, in, in one big Java world, right? So suddenly everything comes together now with Java and me embedded. So it's, um, yeah, it's a great new world now. For Absolutely me. agree. I really agree with that. Anything else or uh, how can people well, contribute yeah, to the page? Well, yeah, on that iotcommunity.net page, um, we have an aggregation of blogs on the right side. And so as the community is blogging, I, I would like to know, um, I would like people to send me an email, james.weaver at oracle.com, to let me know what the URL of, of, of the IoT blogging that you, that, you, uh, yeah, that you do is, like the RSS feed for that, and so that we can add that to the blog aggregation. Uh, it's a really exciting set of blogs that we're aggregating and so every day there's lots of new material about IOT and about um, you know new Kickstarter projects and things like that and it, and by going through that you just gain more and more of, a, of excitement about new uh, IOT kinds of things that people are exploring and it becomes evident that this thing is just really taking off and and that developers are going to really be pushed in that direction so you know let's let's jump on it wonderful Thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.